Chris, is Ireland still a good place to attract and retain top companies and talent? Ireland, I think, is emerging as one of the top places in Europe right now for technology, uh, particularly in software development, but it's becoming very, very competitive because we have some of the brand name multinationals here. We also have some interesting indigenous startups. But I think one of the things that's, that's really made a difference for Ireland is, God bless him, Michael O'Leary and Ryanair, and he's done more to integrate Europe than perhaps any European commissioner or anything like that. So we have a lot of people flying into Dublin, flying into Ireland from all over Europe, given what's happening here in terms of the momentum in the industry and how relatively low cost it is to fly in. So there's tremendous competition for talent, but at least within Europe, we're now attracting some of the best and the brightest across Europe to come here. And how strong is the kind of native kind of entrepreneurialism here as opposed to larger companies kind of using Ireland as an outpost? I think actually part of the Irish culture is entrepreneurial and sort of you know, it's the it's the the small boys trying to fight the big boys, yeah, trying yeah. to stand up to the imperialists. That's part of sort of inbred in the culture. So there's a tremendous sort of entrepreneurial spirit here in Ireland. I do see it in other places across Europe, parts of London, parts of Germany, but in, in general, if you look at the European continent overall, Ireland, I think, has some of the most interesting and innovative entrepreneurs. Um, as, as an entre uh, entrepreneur and agent investor, you, you mentioned to me in, a, in the, pre the previous to this interview that you spend kind of, um, once a month you go over to Silicon Valley. I'm just interested about how different Silicon Valley is to here, if there is any difference. Yes, I work across not just Europe, but also I travel to Silicon Valley once a month for board meetings and involved in quite a number of startups over there. It's quite interesting. Um, I think perhaps the pace, the aggression that there is in the valley is ahead of anything that I see in yeah. Ireland, just the sheer, sheer energy and how fast things happen. But there's still a dogged determinism perhaps here in Ireland. <laughs> you know, that, you know our, our home market is so small, it's sort of less than perhaps Greater Birmingham. You have to export, you have to take on the best across the world, so you, you have to grow your company. And that sort of determinism to sort of grow, expand, to export helps drive Irish companies forward. Whereas I think perhaps in Silicon Valley, what you tend to get are sort of almost sort of incestuous relationships working with other Valley companies first. And after a long time, perhaps you begin to think about the rest of the United States, but Asia and Europe are sort of far from your thoughts. So there's a sort of different culture there in terms of what is the addressable market and how you're going about uh, addressing that market and conquering it. Chris Horn, thank you very much.